Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about abdominal swelling in infants. Now, first of all, infants are going to have kind of big puffy bellies in the first place. They haven't been doing a lot of Pilates and core workouts, and they're not going to have really strong abdominal muscles, so they're going to sort of have big round bellies, and that's normal. That said, sometimes you look at your infant and you think, that ain't right. That's not how he or she looked yesterday. Their belly seems to be swollen. Why would that be? Probably the most common reason for abdominal swelling is constipation. Now, defining constipation in an infant can be a little bit difficult. Why? Well, how frequently a newborn stools may vary widely. A lot of newborn babies, especially breastfed babies, will stool every single time they nurse. That could be 10 or 12 times a day. It feels like you're going through a carton of diapers every time you turn around. That's normal. But the same breastfed babies may also only stool once a day or once a week. Some people make breast milk that is so appropriate for their infant or the infant is so good at digesting it that they use every drop of that milk to make more baby. There's nothing left to make poop out of. As long as what comes out of the baby is soft in texture, we don't worry. Your baby may absolutely have a fit trying to have a stool. They may turn purple and red and scream, and that's normal too because it's a hard job for a baby to do that. They're on their back, which is a tough way to have a stool. But if what comes out is soft, we're still not going to call it constipation. We're not worried about it. If, on the other hand, your baby is having little hard stools or big hard stools, rabbit pellets, there's bleeding when they poop, they seem to be in a lot of pain, that's much more likely constipation. Even if they pass five rabbit pellets a day, they're having frequent stools, but they're not having stool that's easily passed. So we will get worried about that. Now, if your baby has a swollen belly and stops feeding well or starts vomiting, we get very worried about serious, serious diseases of the intestine. Probably the most concerning are intussusception, where one part of the intestine telescopes down inside another part. That can be life-threatening. That can lead to death of part of that intestine, which requires surgery immediately to make it better. There can also be a problem called volvulus, where part of the intestine twists on itself, and again, that can cut off the blood supply and be life-threatening. So if your baby has an expanded belly, abdominal swelling, and seems excessively fussy, refuses to eat, starts vomiting, has a fever, for gosh sake, get your baby medical care immediately. That is not to be blown off. Now, of course, another thing we think about is gas. Babies swallow air, and the bacteria inside the intestine make more gas. And if that's what you're seeing, your baby's farty, he or she is burpy, the belly's a little bit expanded, but everything else seems fine, they're pooping fine, they're eating fine, we're not going to be terribly worried about that. Now, there are some other things we haven't talked about, rare issues like large tumors, for example, that could occur. Obviously, what I would say is, if you're worried, if your baby's belly doesn't seem right to you, you feel a mess, they're not feeding well, for gosh sake, get a medical provider to put a hand on that baby's belly and see what's going on. Talking about abdominal swelling in your infant, I'm Dr. David Hill.